All right, everyone, it's fun. <laughs> I don't know why I just laughed, but I'm bringing you a super simple strategy today. It's the Roach Baneling in ZVT, which has been around forever. It's been around for centuries. Basically, you know, you build three bases to confuse them, and then you go Roach Baneling and try and do a lot of damage. It's really good against those three CC players, those greedy guys. You know, not much else, not much else to say. Let's go ahead and get into the game. Alright, so first off, and as always, we get that 9 Overlord, and we want to send him around to go over to the third base. First Overlord, of course, will be going over here to this little location. In fact, you kind of want to send it here, because if you go all the way over there, then you will actually lose it to a 1-Rex expand from a Terran player. Then you've got the optional drone scouts if you want to be safe. I like to go with the 13 drone scout and just look around at proxy locations. But you can also go with the 10 drone scout straight to their main base to find out if they've got nothing there. In which case they're probably proxying you as well. At 15 supply we want to go ahead and get that hatchery of the natural. And then 15 supply we want to go ahead and get the spawning pool. Now the most economic is 15 hatch 16 pool. But on these newer maps, the rush distance is a bit shorter. You're going to struggle with the Reapers that are going to come at you uh, if you take the, ha uh, the spawning pool a bit later. So I just like to get it just a tiny bit earlier. It really helps out with the Reapers, just getting those Zerglings a bit faster. And then at 17 supply, we're going to go ahead and start another Overlord. Usually going to send this guy over to this ledge here so you can see the Reapers jumping up and down and find their position. Once the spawning pool finishes, we're going to go ahead and get a Queen. And generally you're going to be opening with six Zerglings nowadays, aka three pairs to deal with a Reaper. After that 25 supply, make sure you rally everything down to the natural. Once you've taken care of the Reaper, then you want to go ahead and Maynard two drones down as well. So you've got that perfect saturation on the main base. And then just keep droning whilst dealing with the Reaper with your Zerglings. As soon as your first Queen's finished, you want to go ahead and start extra ones. That's usually around 30 supply there. And then 34 supply. You want to go ahead and get a double overlord. Make sure you position your queens at the front there. And then we want to take a double gas at the natural after the double overlord. Make sure to poop that creep at the front as soon as possible. And also get drones in those gas geysers as soon, gas geysers as, soon as they finish. And then we're going to drone straight up to 47 supply. At which point we're going to go ahead and start a roach warren. And we are going to start the Zergling speed as soon as we've got the resources for it. And we're going to start sending a drone down to the third base over there. Whilst keeping up with our injects. And also keep on pooping that creep and spreading it as well. And then as soon as that drone gets over there, 46 supply. We're going to go ahead and start that third base. And now all we're going to do is build three overlords. And wait for that roach warren to finish. And we're going to start producing roaches at this point. This is where you want to try and fake the fact that you're actually taking a third base. So you want to build your roaches and kind of send the first few over to the third base to push the hellions back. Because at this point the hellions would be attacking the third base or at least poking into your natural. Um, just scare him a bit. Use your queens. Make him think that you really want to take that third base and then you're gonna go ahead and uh, put all of your gas into your roaches here which will put you to about 67 supply and then around that time you're gonna go ahead and drop the roach or uh, the baneling nest sorry as well and then follow up with a lot of zergling so you can go out this way just push him back again you just want to make him think that you really want that third base and then follow it up with zerglings make sure to keep up with your overlords as well and then these are all gonna catch up behind your roaches there and at this point you're probably going to catch him off guard make sure to keep up with your in injects as well these are all going to come across the map and that's pretty much the build order there I'll show you what it looks like once you get to his base in a real game let's have a look alright so this replay cast is from a real game this is the scenario I was talking about here they're going to be pressuring your third base you want to send your roaches down there it doesn't matter if he sees them because there's a lot of roach builds right now where you just take your third base with the roaches and it's not a roach bane. If you send your roaches down there, it looks like you just want to defend your third base. Whereas if you send them straight out of your natural, it looks like you just want to go for attack. That's why you should be sending them down there first, just to confuse them a bit. Then the roaches are obviously going to go across the map here, followed up by the zerglings. Any zerglings that are spawning behind this will deal with the hellions that get into your main base. Don't worry about the counterattack because you're going to have zerglings coming out. They 
could just go back and deal with it along with your queens, and that's an easy pickup right there. And then you get Banelings on the other side of the map. Now let's speed this up a bit, just wait for the Banelings to morph, because you do want a lot of Banelings there. Make sure you've got enough to plow through all of the bunkers that he's got. And again, this is really good against 3cc builds. And, uh, ba well, basically non-Banshee builds, it's really good against. Uh, Banshee builds will shut this down really easily. Any other build you can be pretty good against, to be honest. And um, I just keep on rallying Zerglings in this game. You can stop at this point and just drone your third base up, transition, either go into Roach, Hydra, or Mutiling Bane. They're the main two compositions in ZBT at the minute. But yeah, this is it, man. Doing a lot of damage with the Roach Bane. And very simple build order, and basically one of the most popular build orders in ZBT as well for a long time. It's basically the go-to all-in if you want to punish a greedy Terran. Um, definitely, definitely the most popular. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something here. Very simple build. And uh, I'll see you guys next time for more StarCraft 2 action. Created these maps like Ohana, Cloud Kingdom. Those were the maps they were invent it was invented on. So there's a lot of people going back to the old Immortal Sentry pushes because they are very, very strong on those maps. So I, I was playing today and I beat